Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Guiltless One, November 15. For the Father judges no one, but has committed all judgment to the Son. John 5, 22. Between the first and the second advent of Christ, a wonderful contrast will be seen. No human language can portray the scenes of the second coming of the Son of Man in the clouds of heaven. He is to come with his own glory, and with the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. He will come clad in the robe of light, which he has worn from the days of eternity. Angels will accompany him. Ten thousand times ten thousand will escort him on his way. The voice of Christ will penetrate the tomb and pierce the ears of the dead, and all that are in the graves shall come forth, and before him shall be gathered all nations, the very one who died for humanity is to judge them in the last day, for the Father hath committed all judgment unto the Son, and hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. What a day that will be when those who rejected Christ will look upon him whom their sins have pierced. They will then know that he proffered them all heaven if they would but stand by his side as obedient children. That he paid an infinite price for their redemption, but that they would not accept freedom from the galling slavery of sin. As they gaze upon his glory, there flashes before their minds the memory of the Son of Man clad in the garb of humanity. They remember how they treated him, how they refused him, and pressed close to the side of the great apostate. The scenes of Christ's life appear before them in all their clearness. All he did, all he said, the humiliation to which he descended to save them from the taint of sin, rises before them in condemnation. Again they hear the voice of Pilate saying, I find in him no fault at all. They see the shameful scene in the judgment hall when Barabbas stood by the side of Christ and they had the privilege of choosing the guiltless one. They hear again the words of Pilate, Whom will he that I release unto you, Barabbas or Jesus, which is called Christ? They hear the response, Away with this man and release unto us Barabbas. To the question of Pilate, what shall I then do with Jesus? The answer comes, let him be crucified. Further reflection. What strikes me most about the judgment scene 